Bye. 
all right good evening good afternoon good morning and welcome to the stream well done gentlemen well done that's like a little brain tease in the morning to get the uh synapses going i guess let me check audio and make sure audio is working here okay sounds like it in fact is good morning kaden how you doing all right let's switch over to the game So, of course, Ben will be here in about an hour. That's where the real magic starts. <laughs> oh, I made, um, I made a lasagna last night. And everything was going really, really good. I've never used a broil function before. And, um... The, a lot of times when you're making any sort of a deep dish, you always get like, if you had any cheese or butters, there's always a little bit of oil on the top. And I'm always afraid that, you know, even if you let it sit long enough, that might be a little bit too much. So never used broil function before. <clears throat> and uh, it said two to three minutes and I did five minutes. I burned the cheese. But underneath the burnt cheese, it was delicious. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's um, let's load this up. Do 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 do. Else. This was a um, chicken and white sauce lasagna. I like it. And there's Ben. All right. So, um, what's the plan? Well, it's a darn good idea. Ben was working on finishing up this so we know what's going on, visual status. We know our total draw and our total generation. Um, so as you can see, we're generating and there's a, a sneak, he has to isolate it. This is when power's being transferred upside or from downside to upside, so. He'll fix that. Um, I am working on site B. <clears throat> which I got the crazy idea of sending power to it wirelessly. Store our power. And this is what I've been working on. And so this is going to be our first pressurized room. Um, and I was working on lights, making them activated based upon motion. I'm still going to do that, but I was thinking about do I need all these windows. I don't think I want all these windows because it's going to be really hard to keep this condition. This is where we'll be able to access all of our pipes and electrical. Hey, monster, good morning. So I think what I want to do is uh, for this building anyways, we're going to change this all out to uh, walls, except for the front. Because I was having um, I was having some flashbacks where Ben and I did a an all connected structure. All the hallways were glass, and we could not maintain a good temperature. Mainly because each time the sun came out, 
it would heat up the rooms and the air conditioners are running full time. We currently have a power problem. So, um, yeah. I think this first room is going to be a person room dedicated to a cryo bed or tube or chamber, whatever it's called. These are wall kits, that's what I thought. All right, so. Sixteen different wall. Ooh. Isn't there one with light fixtures? But the question is, can you control the lights? Um. Oh, I see you put lights in there. Really? But how do you... Um, all right, I have to test this out. I don't know. <clears throat> you know what? Flying back and forth building stuff is gonna be a pain. So let's make couple of the basic tools <clears throat> to me oh you know what? I'm just gonna take this one <laughs> oh geez no 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 stop 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 no all right that's fine Hey, happy panda, another. How the heck are you doing? Oh, angle finder. And wire cutters. Finally got around to checking out the new Atmo changes. Oh, they are. Um, if you have a lot of stuff going on, it's a lot of stuff to tend to. We haven't tried the. Ooh. Hard vents, I keep forgetting about that. Alright, so I got wires. Um again. Uh Rod. All right here. That's what we'll do. Oh, I can't that's a mining back. Um, <sighs> All right, so tool platform out here
How'd you uh, use the powered vents? chip in a pass event I was able to stupidly get the gas fuel generator to work during the day using the powered vents to oh no 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 you you have you're using the Mars atmosphere for the generator oh nice So they're overpowered for and keep a small room pressurized. That's amazing. It's cool. All right. All right. So, um, I think we're going to start right here. Bring the stacker. Am I blind? I guess I'm blind. All right, what do we need? Mm. another one I did not wait oh, it's right there never mind
Um, Transformer at all. Old piece. Golden copper is up. Thinking. Lights need to be on. Trying to serve some power. Uh, need gold and copper. Which I think this is the copper.
Alright, what do we have in here? We got steel and iron. Need steel. Have any gold? Oh. There we go. I tell you what, Friday with the uh, Raspberry Pi, I learned so much about what doesn't work, well, for me, and what does work, and how incredibly intelligent Chad is when it comes to Linux. Wow. I didn't realize so many people out there either use Linux at work or have learned it over the years as a hobby. And is just so fluent with it too. Oh my goodness. And um, I got one home automation up and running with Home Assistant. It, it uh, fired off this morning. I have to see if it finishes it. It's a very basic automation. That's incredible. Wait. Um, oh, that's not on. Stop. Okay. Uh, set this to 100, I guess. Now we want to do, um, stacker. Well, what I'm what I'm trying to set up now is what I understand is the visual code has a plugin or something so you can actually use it to connect to Linux over SSH so you don't have to create a share, which I did. I created a share so I could edit my script files. And um, I found out there was a better way of doing it. Uh, Um, okay, so electronic printer, shows things up, that line up. Um, yet. Well, no, what I was looking for was a way. So I've never really used visual code except for a little bit of HTML, um, but what it offers for color coding and syntax checking, I love it. I mean, for a simpleton like me, it makes things more organized. Um, some of the scripts, as you start getting into home automation and stuff like that for Home Assistant, everyone uses the, um, and what I'm talking about when, when I say visual code is the Visual Studio Code, the free code editor. Um, I've learned that it has a plugin that I didn't install that's called SSH, and it also has a YAML plugin too. And I haven't configured it yet, but evidently you can use this plugin SSH to connect to your Linux box and point it to where you want your work files to be on the Linux box, and you can edit like crazy. I haven't tried that out yet. What do I need? What do I need? I need um need my tools. Take a welder. I didn't realize how many plugins it had, so we need iron sheets. Hey Pudman, how you doing? Sheet. Do I have iron sheets on me? Do not have iron sheets. Um If you get it to work, let me know how you did it out there in uh, 
um, Discord land. Cables. And past sheets. Then a screwdriver. And again, don't forget, I am a complete novice and rookie at any of this stuff, so. Oh, we need the module for that. Oh, can I make that over here? So I have to make it here. Uh, I have a Pi 3B and a Pi 4B, but the 4 is set up for a retro game emulator and the 3 only has 100 megabytes Ethernet, so I don't really want to use it as a Pi hole. But yeah, yeah, just to edit and deploy. Yeah, not to store. Yeah. Um,. Can you expand on that a little, Hoodman? Um, so I have a four also, but if your Pi hole, sorry, if your Pi three only has a 100 megabit ethernet, why would putting Pi on that, Pi hole on that be an issue? I'm trying to educate myself. Hey, Lith, how you doing? I did not do that. <laughs> um, this is the pie that I purchased. And wow, they've come back down in price. Um... This one only has one Ethernet port. I'm trying to figure out how fast it is. Uh, I mean, I could use the three as a pie hole as it set the low bandwidth traffic latency wouldn't be affected. What is that for? Oh, um, on Friday, I actually set up my Raspberry Pi. Chat helped me to get um, Pi OS installed, which actually isn't that hard, but to get Docker with um, Home Assistant and then Pi Hole up and running. And we ran into some hiccups. I, I put up the video of it. I'm trying to figure out what ethernet port speed I have on mine because I'm using Pi hole right now and I just want to make sure it doesn't cause any problem. <laughs> um, the Raspberry Pi is, is a little tiny computer that runs Linux and um, their version of Linux is Desbian and then so that's the operating system, you know, like Windows, Mac, and then Linux. And then on it, Docker is kind of like an organizational tool. So you install things into containers that Docker manages, I guess. And um, that's how I had to install Home Assistant. And Pi-hole is a all-in-one solution that stops ads. And um, it d does it by DNS filtering. So pretty, pretty impressive. Hang on, I'm trying to figure out. Uh, I have a gigabit ethernet port, okay. On my little guy, all right. All right anyways, back to what we're doing here. Um, that's good, that's good. Oh, power, high power. 
<sighs> and we're gonna just come straight across. Oh, I don't have the right. So Ben will be here soon, about 30 minutes. I would imagine on his day off, which is Sunday, he sets an alarm, says, go play a game with Andy. <laughs> then, um, that there. this on I was thinking uh, if you chose not to use the trick with the portable light or don't know oh you mean putting it in my uh, suit so you get more ambient light yeah no it's cool what I'm waiting for I think hang on look at look at this look at this large wireless cell you can't make it yet. So I would love to have, hey, good morning, Ben. Um, I found that doing that, forgetting about it, then have to change the battery. So since Ben and I work in wireless areas, I would love to have one of those that's wireless so that stays charged all the time. I don't have to keep swapping out. I'm lazy. I'm lazy. Turn that on. And we're looking for mod there. And what do we need? Make that solder, steel. All right, let me go. They're going to have to take away my nerd card. I'm getting further and further out of touch with all the doodads and things these days. Nowadays, I just live in the country and raise livestock and farm. <laughs> I get you. Me too. I, I have become um, disconnected as well so there's steel of course gigabit over cat 5v only runs and that's fine too yeah because that that's what we installed my pie is just a media server are you using um jellyfin flex which one are you using i gotta go get that stuff Because I was told that a Pi isn't really strong enough to do that because I run Plex off of my streaming PC. Yeah, we, we went Cat 5e because we don't have fiber in our area. All right, I forgot what I was looking for. Got distracted. Um, solder. Electrum. Oh, I gotta get Ben in here and have him make some stuff. Might have to steal it. Whoa. I got Electrum, right? Need some solder. Cat six seven only five or six one. Yeah, how you doing? All right, that. I've got solder. I need this. All right, so we're gonna pull the plug on this.
I'm over here. Let's go check on Centrifuge. Let's calm down, crank up the speed. <clears throat> so I did try the Home Assistant OS using the AdGuard add-on. Got it configured, ran fine, did stuff, but, and it did what it was supposed to do. Um, Alex likes to occasionally watch some of these um, YouTube channels that do really good um, reviews on um, cold case, open, reopen cold cases. And some of the channels that she likes to watch weren't coming through. When I turned off AdGuard, it started coming through. So, and then I went into AdGuard support and they gave me a lot of suggestions Nothing really worked. So I decided to give Piehole a try. And without configuring anything differently, Piehole, everything seems to work fine. Ads are being blocked. Very nice. I did post the link for a site to check for ad blocking. And um, the, the filtering list it comes with does a pretty darn good job added another one. All right, so are we doing okay here? All right, let's crank up the fuel. So it seems controversial as a content creator and I'm blocking ads. <clears throat> I'm not doing it to block ads on YouTube. We have premium. Yeah, it is Gopher. Yeah, so basically I tell my router to to uh, send, it uses my Pi as the DNS. Then on the Pi hole, and it, it has a DNS section, you can put what DNS servers you want to use. So it goes from router, Pi, to DNS. But if you want, your Pi could be DHCP, but I still use my router. I keep getting pop-ups and I'm using an ad blocker and then it disables the video. Um, I would highly recommend getting you or, or you block origin. I use that for, um, Chrome. And so you could do that, right? You could put ad blockers on all your clients, your phones and stuff like that. But then why? And I get it because when Alex and I were trying to make, we, we have this really great dish that we enjoy at least minimum once every two weeks. And it's called a chicken, right? It's a DNS filter, right? Uh, a chicken burrito bowl. There's everything you'd go into a burrito, but you put it into a bowl and it is so good. Um, but the website we refer to for the recipe, there's more ads. Then there is recipe. Oh. I don't mind commercials. Uh, in fact, all of our streaming services, we have ads enabled. Fine. All right, so that's up and going. But it was so simple to install, so simple to set up. That's what I like. All right, in for landing and boom. All right. Electrum. Solder. And. I mean, I think most of us grew up with commercials, so it's interesting how out of touch you are. Hey, Baron, how you doing? When you don't, when you can go straight 45 minutes and watch like 
full episode of something and go into the next one. This looks like it's an incomplete product. It is. We ran into a lot of hiccups on my first attempt. So my home, my first home assistant installation was with home assistant OS. Um, then when we removed, I reinstalled it, had no problem. But then um, I wanted more flexibility with the operating system, which you cannot really do with the home assistant OS. So I installed Pi, Docker, home assistant, but then I didn't have the add-ons that I wanted. I went back to the original and then I did some more research and found out, well, a lot of these add-ons I can install manually and I'll learn how to do that later. So. Exactly. Yeah. What Gopher said at most four in an hour show. Yeah. That, that, that's how it always been. Every 15 minutes you get commercials. All right, then we do this and what? A screwdriver. Okay. All right, so I did all this so I could get light. You know, iron and copper. Copper right there. So I'm trying, um, I had this idea for our first room over here at site B to be a glass building, but then I remembered we're struggling with power. So if we're going to try to keep it temperature controlled, we could do passive cooling, but, um, I thought, you know what, maybe I'll just do the entry areas is windowed and then put everything up. And then I saw this, but I don't know how the lights work. So I thought, okay, let me go make some lights. And do they just fit in and work? Was it one of those? Oh, it is. Oh. N uh, e yeah. Wait, um, solid walls and roof over the sun's pass and the other side open. Oh yeah, maybe that's a good idea since, well, there'll be some sun coming in, right? I was just going to leave this glass. Huh? Oh, I see. All right. Well, that's interesting. I'm, I'm experimenting with the different walls. That's that one. So there's that. And then, no way. Oh. Oh, wait, what? What do I need? <gasps> wait, how do you get the windows out? Or the. Bar? Oh, no, 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 I, I get it. I get it. No, the other side. Those don't. a particular light that 
person. Oh. Well, GC and crew, I'll be lurking time to feed stuff and then going to go cut some wood a few hours before breakfast. Wow, nice workout. All right, thanks, Lith. Well, that's interesting. So same thing, but light at the top. And of course, a vent. Is that a real vent? There's Alex. Hi, Alex. Alex waved. Uh, that doesn't work. Um, is this a real working vent or is it just a picture? I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused. Well, it says vent. Is it a lighted vent? Did I, did I read that incorrect? I probably read that incorrect. Yeah. just a grant okay just a cosmetic thing i got you thanks baron uh but these are functional lights you can that that's actually a little overkill i think i like the i think i like the ones at the top only What is your favorite waffle? Tubby Nesbit. Thanks for the follow. And, and you're asking what my favorite waffle is. Waffles. That's it right there. That's my favorite waffle. I made that waffle. That fork? That's my fork. Yeah, I made that waffle. Alex is here. She's laughing at me. She goes, why do you tell people it's your fork? Because I didn't borrow the neighbor's fork, Alex. It's not some fork I picked up off the road. Um, um, so wait a minute. I got a wall kit. Oh, that, that, uh, I know where that came from. All right. So, and we just had padded, no border. Then, then border. Windows. Oh, the, oh, that's cool. That fills in the corners. Nice. All right. Corner pieces. Gotcha. Um, you know, if I go with this, that seems a little too crowded. If I go with this, we don't need lights topside then. I wonder if that's gonna cause a problem, like if we're trying to do any sort of wiring. Right, we'll just, I'm just gonna put, I, I know what I'm gonna do. I, I don't know what I'm Do that. That's what. We'll All right. Oh. Oh. That's right. Issues with outside walls? No, I just, originally I was gonna make it an all glass building. Then, since we have a power issue, power problems, I don't wanna to have to worry about the heat from the sun and having to try to cool it. So, I'm going to leave windows here and 
Uh, close it all up. And then after, as soon as I do that, I mean, will the light stick? Will the light, I mean, will the light stick outside? What? Will it stay outside? Sure, it will. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to run some electrical wiring to it. Yes, you are correct. I forgot which one am I using on? That one? Looks like it. So, Stop touching my stuff, Alex. sheets of plastic really is do you get better lighting in a room that or if you have well the only way to find out is to do it right oops I need that What is your favorite waffle? Uh, Sintin, thank you so much for that follow. And what is my favorite waffle? Oh, I to tell you right now. Waffles. That one right there. That's my waffle. Better spacing, better lighting. I think so too. Yeah, we're gonna test out though. 
as I can just to put on the right spot. There we go. And Ooh. Oh, I have not Oh, oh, I see. All right, interesting. Yes, Boomer, that's my fork. <laughs> what do I need? I need two lights. <laughs> Because people are going to say, okay, that's his waffle, but is that his eating utensil? Yes, it is. Thank you for asking. Did I turn the butter myself? No, I did not. I will take further steps to make it all fine. Wall lights would do best in hallways. I see what you're saying. That's a good point. Yeah, so we're going to just make the definitive test because I've never used these walls and lights in the walls, but we're doing... Uh, that, that, all right. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, sure, you are absolutely correct. Go for, but let's go ahead and just test this out because this is this is what's fun about not knowing something trying something now if it breaks something yes you have to go back and fix it take down the wires Yeah, you're right. That would be good for hallways. That would be... Yeah. All right. Good to know. Lighting would be a bit better out of the corners too. Oh, so in other words, there, put them up one. I gotcha. Oh, well, I think, I think I get better lighting with four of the round ones. Did I make the fork myself? No, I didn't. I, I know I, I do not have any metal urgy skills. I don't have any sort of way to smelt, but no, I did make the waffle. I mean, it's not your waffle, it's my waffle. And when they ask, what is my favorite waffle? Well, that was my favorite waffle. I made that waffle. That was a very tasty and yummy. It wasn't overly uh, syruped, not overly buttered. Is that my favorite fork? No, I would have to say actually no. There is, uh, Alex has got a, a set of these medieval forks that are really cool looking, very sturdy. So why wouldn't I eat with my favorite fork? Well, I just, I'm so hungry, I just grabbed the first one I could get my, my little waffle eating mitts on. down all right then i assume we need this
we're doing um Instead of windows, I'm just going to do normal, everyday walls. See now, Notable Joe should be here for this. He loves this mini game. Put up walls, floors, take them down. Put them up, take them down. Why don't I want windows on the ceiling? Well, like I said, we do have a power problem. And I don't want to add to it by having all glass structures and um, we need some normal wall. Um, uh, which way do I want it to go that way? All right. Um, so trying to keep it conditioned guys um i'm gonna do a bio break all right so i will be right back don't go anywhere
All right, I'm back. Hey, Ben. Ooh, come on, guys. Uh, xylophone. No, that won't work. Um, Biloxi. No, that won't work either. Bail. Oh, there you go. Nice. I'm gonna get boil. I help. Not much, huh? Bling bling. Nice. Where to go, Ben? Everyone contributed, everyone helped. Awesome. All right. Let's um, get back to the game. Let me do a save. Save as, this is on part 37. Saving and, all right, Ben. All right, jump again. All right. Yeah, so Friday was a lot of fun doing a doing Linux stuff, command line stuff, setting up VNC, setting up Home Assistant, and um, um, like I said, the the one thing I, I like about Home Assistant it's local, and even if my internet's down, everything that's local is still gonna work, which I like. I like. Alex is on board. Oh, wait, let's go make sure uh, Ben's okay. You had a power cut. Oh, no. Of error messages related to cabling here. I guess it's working. All right. It's going to take me about five minutes to fly to you. I'm so far away now. We, we have to come up with a transit system. Like sticking, um, put an ele Oh, we can't do it. If we can do a door sideways, that would be so cool. We could make a sideways elevator. Where's Ben? Hey, Ben. Don't forget about your mask. I need water. Oh, I need water too. So I do have the survival um, needs on this turned down pretty darn low. drink yeah soup on the floor it's on the floor because i ran out of storage space and there all right so what are we working on today well uh i think you were trying to do something with your power transfer right because there's still a small little hiccup with this status if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah. Fix the indicator. Yeah. You okay. had the indicator uh, and also on the total gen or draw, it will jump up and down it by might two. might include the uh, power transfer, which I think I fixed, but yeah, I'll have to double check that. Okay. All right. All right, cool. And it looks like the generator's on because I see the filters on. Yeah, the generator is on. So we got down below 25% down here. All right, cool. Things are working as they should. I like it. Wait a minute. Uh, okay, so that needs to be off. Let's go. All right, let's go over and check our uh, 
we ran out of copper in our smelting area so i'm actually going through and uh, processing all the ore that we have still working on it the kind of person that I'll build something that way I, ha I know I have all the resources to complete it and then yes I, I tear it down build it up tear it down build it up at least I know I got all this stuff having all this stuff is important it's dark back here oh well um, that there, that there, blockers, stop. All right, um, so, oh, right, so I need one more, oh, I already got, that's the motion sensor. So I want to figure out how I'm going to wire this. Um, I'm a creature of habit when it comes to an airlock. I always like to have, I always like to have, so if we lose power and you're in a room and you have an airlock, you're trapped. Unless the airlock has its own independent power source, like one of those, uh, APCs. Just realized. This isn't something. So, um, what I need to figure out is the power, I, I guess it can go, because usually I, I will put stuff on this wall versus this wall. Um, but here we have a motion sensor I'm adding to the mix. So let's get some glass in there. And get stuff packed up and see how it's going to work. Yeah, I'm going to put, yeah, put a battery in there. Yep. Um, so now do I have an APC? I don't. And that would be an electronic, I believe. Power. There it is. Oh, Ben, when you figure out your lighting thing, can I, uh, convince you we need to make some solder um oh yeah sure probably like a couple hundred grams okay okay whenever you figure out your lighting all right so if we put this here can't bring the power from there so if we bring the power from there the power goes up i don't think that's gonna work then if I if I have the console here, that means console would have to go up there. Um, evidently, I made a whole bunch of APC. So what if it goes in from the side? 
it over here. I don't think we can get a wire. Yeah, I didn't think so. So it has to come from that direction. All right. That still won't work. Hey, Saturn, good morning to you. How the heck are you doing? Oh, okay. So we're going to have to flip it. Oh. It's hideous. Doing fine. The fam is great. Cookie's here. Alex is over there. Play some Starfield. She's going to be taking Alex Jr. to uh, the mall later. We have a birthday party to go to for the fam. So the power should be... Yep. All right, so I need more wires. There. How about you, Saturn? How are you doing? How the heck is Saturn doing? It didn't work. I get to tell that. All right. All right, so we put an active vent there. So that means if I want to get this connected, I can't go that way with the wire. Or no, 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 I could, because if I'm putting all the logic out here, but if that's outside, no, that's okay. No, that'll work because our lights are outside the circuit too. This will work. All right, because the power is going to come in here. Yes. Ben will get over here and say, uh, why'd you do it that way? I go, I don't know. Good. Motion sensor is going to hide it with the lights. Uh, doing fine. Still playing Seven Days to Die. Quite a bit. Fun game. Gonna try Starfield soon. Oh. Game. Alright, so if this. Nice. Then I think that. All right. All right. Let's just get the airlock all dialed in. Um. Huh. Actually, it would make more sense to put the APC on that side. It would. Oh no no! It still put. Okay, there's power on that side. So we're just gonna. Console, active vent. That works. All right, so I need a console. Oh, 
Hey there, Electro. What's on the itinerary? Well, I made a design change with the room because we're, we're struggling with power. We're using more than we are generating. So instead of making this an all glass room and having to worry about the sun warming this up and us having to use a lot of conditioning to cool it, I'm just going to have windows at the front. Um, and then I, I struggled with, uh, I never used all the different padded uh, walls and I noticed some had vents, but they were just decorative. Uh, then there's lights and I thought that was cool, but they didn't give off enough light. So I was convinced by chat that it's better for hallways. I said, oh, that's cool. So I left these lights like this and to help with our power, I'm going to use a motion sensor. And first I'm going to just do it with some chips and then I'm going to figure out how to do it with uh, IC code All right now. So this is going to be our first pressurized room, which I think is going to have like, um, the cryo tube and, um, So this is a person room. I guess we could put the tools in here too. I also like the arch walls. If you do two or three high gives a rib strut. I saw how, yes, I went through every single one of them, looked at them and they, they look like they take up more room than they should, but they don't because of the ribs, as you said. Okay, so I still need a dynamic console. Yeah, I do. Uh, great day here, East Tennessee, 40 degrees in the morning. Hey, Longfellow, how you doing? Um, we actually ran out of copper, so I'm processing some stuff. And Ben is putting the final touches on his uh, power wall. So he's got all the subsections all identified using either transformers or cable analyzers. Then we have a light, a flashing light to indicate what's going on. This is uh, when solar's charging. This is when we have our solid generator turns on and this is when the gas generator turns on. So we'll know what's generating power. Um, he found out he had a little sneak circuit in there because the power draw would jump or go down by, what, 10 kilowatts. And that's when the uh, medium um, transformers were transferring power down, up and down. So according to this, we're generating. I think that's because all the generators are on. Cookie's taking a nap in the middle of the day. No, that's not, okay, that's not on. Weird. But I know I think I left the solid generator on though. Trying to, trying to top off our batteries here. So um, I'm going to try to do something I haven't done before. I'm going to use a motion sensor to turn lights on and off. You walk in and then walk out maybe. I don't know. Right now I have um, 433 of those being processed. I am surprised you didn't want the new building to be too high, though. Gives you more room for shelves and balconies. Two-story building. Oh, two, two tiers. Oh, I got you. So. Oh, that's right. There's uh, the lockers are, are shelves. There's alternate. Oh. Well, it's not a finished thing. You're right. It could be a, a fancy like gathering room. Maybe this would be like more like the, the foyer or something like that. But still, what wouldn't it be a grand room? That's what you're trying to say. Make it a grand room. All right, we'll do that because if we don't use the space, there's a lot of space. Trying to see. Is there copper in there? All right, how much copper?
I sure hope they get the rocket fixed very soon because we were going to use that as our source of gas. Oh, hang on. Beta says they're working on it. I saw that. Yeah, I did see that. What's wrong with the rocket? It doesn't work right. Well, in multiplayer anyways, um, we have sync issues and then it doesn't, it doesn't bring, uh, we launched a rocket for gas. It left, came back and there was nothing on it. <laughs> so, um, all right. Huh, yeah, it wasn't working for us. But like Electro pointed out, I did see in the beta log, they're doing some work on it. So there's evidently some known issues. Oh, okay. Now we need a pipe bender. But I have a pre-patch rocket. Uh, you got to have your couplers in the right way. I'm pretty sure we had it set up right, yeah. So we got the trader set up. We're not really in a pinch for gases right now, but maybe you've got it automated. Well, that's fancy. Hey, um, another happy yes. panda. If if you've got no, I'm sorry, panda. Um, panda, if if you've got any sort of uh, code that you want to share, that would be cool. You see, uh, would you have any desire to look at a bunch of random example buildings? Absolutely, no. I would I would love to take a look at them because everyone knows I I don't have a creative gene in my body, except for when it comes to ordering pizza. Uh, that should be right there. Here. I'm sorry, Ben, did, were you going to say something or did you think I said hey to you? I uh, wasn't sure. But you said pizza. That's awesome. <laughs> it is. I, I, can, I can live with it or without it. I'm not a... But yes, I do... When I was first accidentally introduced to a Hawaiian pizza or Hawaiian delight or whatever it's called, whether you use real Canadian bacon or baked Canadian bacon, I like having a little sweet and salty, sweet and salty. In fact, I tried a pizza from a comic book, Deadpool's pizza. If you ever watched the uh, first Deadpool and he gets uh, pineapple with olives. Oh yeah. I got, that's going the wrong way.
lately, Alex and I have been partaking in a pretty good value pizza from Murphy's Papa John's. I, I can't remember. And they have a sausage. It's actually pretty yummy. That works. All right, what do I got to finish this with? Two. I don't have any iron sheets. California, we have both Papa John's and Papa Murphy's. One of the places you order the pizza, you go and pick it up, and then you go and cook it when you want to, versus going and pick it up and then racing home before it gets cold. Well, that was fast. Papa Murphy's, Papa Murphy's stuffed are crazy good. I will put that on the to try list. Don't shrug your shoulders at me. We're going to try it. Chat says we try it. It's interesting because if you call the order versus use their app, you get a better deal when you use the app. I guess because you don't, I take them away from my job. I don't But when I go for premium pizza, and I have to blame EJ for this. What? Oh, well, we do Papa John's because it's like 15 minutes up the road, Papa Murphy's, I've been informed it's an hour away, so. Um, EJ had shared a picture, him and, uh, his, uh, wife went and got jet pizza and it looked phenomenal. And we have a couple in our area ish and, uh, it is, it's really good pizza. It's a little pricey, but it's yum. Jet pizza. Look. Oh, they changed it to a screwdriver. Oh, I thought it was a welder. Yeah. Oh, what is that? A high... An appliance siege. Oh, 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 a seed tray. I got you. Okay. Um, I need a vent active. <gasps> what is that? Oh, that's one of those new powered vents. Um. Was it Happy Panda was t saying that on Mars, he's using active vents to keep the generator working during the days.
Alex and I started watching um, the new Haunted Mansion movie last night. Pretty good movie so far. Um, I got sleepy in bed. Not because it was boring me. Oh, no. Oh, we need a battery for that. Oh, wait. I can actually turn it on, right? Hey, hey, look at that. Um... Um, so that's wired, that's wired, that's wired, that's wired. All right, so we're going to need some wire there. Um, yes, display. Wait, no, no, no. Need, um, airlock. Okay, let's go get a battery. Oh wait, Maybe I can make a battery. go okay, you can go that way
this way. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. So if I connect. All right, so the APC will be on that side. Okay, that, that this will still work. So I can leave it connected both ways. I need the motion sensor to see the lights. So that's why this. That means also that the lights are being powered the APC. Um, no. Um, Pressure critical. Jesus. Temperature critical. Bad finger that. Oxygen critical. So if I bring the power over here, that gets to that, that gives the airlock. It also gives power to the motion sensor. Right? Correct from there. So, the lights, oh, they don't have power because it's not connected. And the APC is only, okay. All right, I get it. I understand what I'm doing. Sort of. Um. Thank you very much, Panda. <laughs> now, Panda, when you say you're on multiplayer, do you do peer-to-peer -peer or do you have a server? So we're doing peer to peer. I wonder if there's a, a big difference when it comes to multiplayer on that. I have a host of in a dip. Gotcha. Best way to do it. All right. So, um, I think it, before I get any more invested, I think we're going to take, um, I'm going to take, um, electro suggestion and, um, we'll go with a two story build. Too high. So these are not wall kits, these are added wall padding. Wall padded.
here again. These are the, the thin walls or all padded. Batteries are fully charged topsided, are at 90% in the basement. Oh, uh, I have the solid generator probably st still turning. Oh, okay. I see. I'll go fix that. I got it. Steel, not plastic. This was a and that wants we don't have to do this goofy stuff here because of the pipe. Alright, so power for the lights need to go up. Right, okay. 
So let's grab. Um, actually, I've got one. It's right here. We got solder. Any uh, favorite place you want? Oh, yay! Um, uh, let me. I, I think they're um, solder, and I had to steal constant, constant, titan. Yeah, that one landed perfect. Landed. Did you see that? Um. That was awesome. Solder, nice. <laughs> yeah, constant. If you could make some more of that. Okay. Oh, how, how's the power board? While I'm over here, let's take the wood. No changes. Oh, no changes? Oh, okay. We're, we're generating no power at all. You're running into some, uh, No, I'm just I'm prepping the logic in the background because I have to transfer oh. the logic okay. state through the power line. Oh, I see. You got some heavy cable in there. Gotcha. Alright, let's 
check on the ore processing while I'm here. We're down to 335. It's in the wrong spot. Dang it. Actually, I guess that light could have come straight down. Dang it. Darn it. windows up here so why don't I just do this instead forgot should save on cable should save on copper thought it'd be nice if lights had pass-through connections yeah so you didn't hit right so when you did daisy chain yeah like in the real world yeah you have like uh you know your inputs and outputs or your loads all right so um I still had plastic in my hand. All right, cool. <sighs> All right. Um, I guess we can put the glass in the top portion. Yeah, in about a month, I'll actually... Um, 
be doing a little bit more real real world electrical alex and i got the whole for the most part we got 80 percent 90 percent of the wall sheetrock we got it all the uh uh all the holes drilled we got the 12-2 wire in there with um i used something called easy guard so you drill a 1 8 hole you beat this thing in there a little bit and you still get the metal protection so if someone tries to drive a really long screw or nail through the um through the stud it will hit this metal like um what are they called nail nail spikes nail boards kick boards whatever they're called nail kicks whatever um there's a couple spots where there was uh triple studs and i didn't those don't work so i used uh the nail spiky things over those that's what i smashed my bum with it was getting annoying because you i tap in each the top and the bottom and then start hitting harder as i tap in the the top end the bottom would come out so i was getting annoyed with that and where i was holding it i i missed and of course hit my thumb but it's all wired and um next saturday we're going to pull stuff off the wall again away from the wall and we're going to measure up draw the lines for the boxes put the boxes in put the wires in the box and um i think i think I, all i have is just one gfci so i i and i don't have the breaker so i have to do a little bit of research because it's an old general electric panel out in the garage not so old to where it's you, know, you can't find breakers for it so i have to get a 20 amp breaker and figure out which phase i'm going to put it on because i think no no the um uh I used drywall screws to hold up the drywall. No, I didn't use, no, no, what I'm saying is that, um, so normally where you have plumbing and you have electrical, you have to put a, what's it called? A nail stop, nail break, nail. Nail, nail guard. Nail guard, something like that. Of course I get manicure stuff. Um, maybe I should put electrical. There we go. So some, something similar to the, oh geez. All right, nice. All right. So these things right here, these uh, nail guards. So instead of doing this in every single stud, so where the where the window is that we covered up, there's a there's a, the regular studs for the support, and then there's the framed studs. So there's actually three studs because two of them are for the framing. So instead of putting these easy guard things through, which is really cool by the way, I'll show those real quick. So these went over where I couldn't use these right here, these easy guards. So you just drill a one eighth hole and you tap it in and you put your Romex through it. And then, like I said, underneath the window where there was the support stud, then three, what do they call them? Uh, crippled studs or child studs. So I had to drill through three and I couldn't get three of these things in there, of course. So I used, uh, use these wherever the image went there it is but anyways it's all it's all done up i put a picture out in discord well i think didn't i oh i did but i didn't show the the behind the scenes though the um So this is a stud, that's a stud right here is where the window is, right here. So where this is, we, we went across, came down and it came underneath the window and then came back up and then went across. So down here where we had a normal stud and we had support studs for the framing of the window. So there was actually six studs I had to drill through. So that's where the nail guards went. 
So before anyone comments, the window is there. There is a rigid foam. There's a vapor barrier around it. Plus on the opposite side, there's a storm window. So I don't have to worry about any moisture coming through. And we've actually, you can see all the pencil marks where we mark the studs. And down here, you can see the stud that comes across where the window is. We haven't marked up there, so I'll, I know where all the number is. All right, so what am I missing here? Windows, those, those are on. That's a big room. Um, oh, it's in something here. All right, so now we have a motion. Let's go and do some renaming here. <sighs> um, So I'm going to be using a logic reader to read the motion and using a batch writer to do writing to the light. So I just want to do a baby step because I, I've never done this before. So I want to make sure I can get it to work. So let's turn them off. Right. They don't have anything. I forgot. Should be able to just tie it right in all that all right i want to read um sensor grand room the variable is what do we have activate quality on i guess activate when it's activated Uh, 
I can't see. Huh. All right, well, I'm just gonna blindly do this and say, this would be, what do we call those? Light round. Logic reader. Yep. Hey, look at that. That worked. Oh, cool. Gotta put some sort of a timer on it. Come out. Oh, yeah, you just said that, yeah. So when zero people are in the room, does it turn off? Yeah, when there's, well, I'm, I'm, I don't know the, so you walk in here, it turns on the lights. If there's another motion sensor, well, it's only for the square, right? Um, so in order to do this to work, does there have to be a motion sensor on every square? I think it would just put a timer though. But that's actually not bad, though. I mean, is there a motion plate or just a sensor? Just a sensor. You would need two sensors to know which direction a person is walking. So if you come in, then it stays on until two, then go outside. Oh, check. All right. I thought there was a motion plate. Oh, a trigger plate. Oh. So imagine the scenario of both the, you and Ben entering and leaving the room. Yep. I, I can imagine the chaos here. Would it make more sense to use? Well, I was thinking that use a motion sensor to turn them on, walk on the trigger plate, it turns it on and leaves it on. And then when you walk on the trigger plate again, it turns it off, leaves it off. You hit the motion, it turns it on. When you leave, then it turns off. So the state, yeah, I could put a switch on the wall too. <laughs> Wait till Ben gets over here and figures out what's best. Cause he's over here doing complicated electrical wiring.
Ben's doing logic. You doing okay, Ben? Yeah, get in there. Both armed with screwdrivers. All right, guys, let me, uh, I'm going to step away and do a little bio break. So I'll, uh, be right back. Get this up and running for you guys. Be right back.
All right, I'm back. Ooh. Bento box. No, that won't work. Ponto. No, that won't work either. So close. Good job, guys. Dun. Way, way to go, Gopher. Nice. Good job, guys. All right, let's get back to the game. Back and there we go. Need to get some water. There's no water over here. Also, I think we're almost out of water. I think. Do I need to go make a nice run? Probably. Let's wait till I can do that. Let's wait till daytime. We'll both go out and collect some ice. Because right. it's interesting, the if you go out and get oxide, say like you get the same amount of oxide or volatiles, and you crush it, you get so much gas as compared to the ice, you get so little water. Looks like you need three times as much. You need a rocket. <laughs> All right, got that. Um, Nitrogen. I'm gonna swap out. There we go. Oxygen. sun's coming out i'm gonna go um beacons on i got my thing i've got a um backpack Where's that? that's right there let's drop that that there that there all right yeah oh there you stuff you swap that to default all right Is there a rocket? Um, I know there's ore. There's gases. Is there one that brings back ices? I guess there is. Okay. Is there one that brings back yeah. just water? Or no? I guess it would just be water. Ice. No. Yeah. You do ice and ore. It makes sense.
trying to use my boost my boost pack um starfield keep hitting the space bar to dunk dunk doesn't work I'll be back a, a minute after I restart the station here. here. Oh, okay. I will do a quick save. There we go. That looks like a big molar, like somebody's mouth. Gross. Hey, does anyone know if they ever address the problem that if you're mining too close and the debris flies back, do you still get your suit still get damaged? Maybe it's not debris. Maybe it's the, you're too close to the uh, the ore when it's being jiggered. You don't mine anymore? Yeah, we, we hardly mine anymore for the ore. It's true. I have a rocket. Well, on site B, we'll, uh, we'll give the rocket a try again after, like I said, they're doing some work on it. So I would read up in beta, might break your rocket. You know, you know how it works and then they rework it and then it breaks so all right so now i gotta dig myself a hole out of here no it's all right it's okay no worries no 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 uh i'm on the stable build i'm just saying in the beta They've been working on the rocket. Oh, that's right. So I need to do this. Um, let's do this and go here. Do that. Go there. Uh oh, too many things. What's that? Swap that. There we go. All right, there we go. Oh, I got the wrong tool now. I got the wrong tool. There we go. I did a weird circle. Look at that. Uh, jumping back in. Okay. We're trying to, anyway. I'll show you still in the game. Did your client crash or something? Yeah, it did. Okay, let me um, you do a save, hop out, so it resets your connection here. All right. Another save. Then we'll leave. Exit. Exit. All right. And relaunch.
Hey, look at there, there's a rocket. All right, loading up the save. Oh, we're almost to 16,000 things. All right. Come in, Ben. All right, jumping back in. All right. I have a rocket. I can automate it, yet I am afraid to get nitrogen down to minus one. Oh, yes. Uh, it looks like I might have to restart. Uh... Steam? Stationers here. Oh, okay. Or Steam, yeah. One of them. Uh, I would just start with Steam. Yeah, all right. Yeah. yeah, you're not in the game. I mean, I can do the same thing just to make sure we get that. Yeah, I'll be trying on my site first. All right. Wow, my power is not happy. What did I miss? Um... I took a break. Ben's client crashed. We're low on water, so I'm not doing ice mining. And uh, Ben's resetting his steam, and then he's gonna try to hop back in again. I think Ben's close to putting the final touches on the power distribution board. Yeah, I got one like working. The other two will be there shortly. Jumping back in. All right. Go home. Your cat misses you. No, no, he's right there. He's he's over by Alex's computer. Looking good. Yep, so far. Fallen through the world. You <laughs> have? Oh no. Are you still falling? I'm still falling. <laughs> oh dear. Uh all right, hang on. Let me let me come back to base. There's a big round blob of lava above my head. <laughs> oh gross. <laughs> Otherwise I am floating in space. Alright, let me um <laughs> that's not good. Let me um Maybe I can come find you. You're only 700 meters away from me. I'm way past 700 meters. <laughs> oh, 
yeah, my suit's throwing errors. Where were you at when you fell through? Sideways. Uh, mining. Um, Out in the middle of nowhere? Okay. Yeah. And let me get to... So I'm tracking you. And, um... Let me get to your spot. Oh, my tracker says you're on Earth. It does? Wow. Um. Well. Yeah, confused. my suit's crapping out here. Alright. I don't see where you were even possibly mining. All right, let me do another save. Why don't you hop out? All right, I'm out. Okay. And one sec before you try to join. Still says you're in the game, but at least the distance isn't freaking out. Um, I got Steam update when I restarted Steam. That might be the cause. Oh, I found your body. Let's see if I can uh, grab your corpse. Not a corpse yet. And uh, grab any part of you. Um, yeah, you're not in the game, but. Can't grab you. All right. Um, you're doing like a. Been taken by the moon worm. Oh, I can move you. Well, at least I die gracefully. Yes. <laughs> Are you kicking me around? I'm, 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 uh, gracefully pushing you. <laughs> <laughs> Silicone. Oh, no, no. You almost went to orbit. See the flickering lights of the base. Uh oh, so several chasms coming up. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like a game. Hang on. Kick the bin. <laughs> uh, we're out looking for ice. Yeah. Hang on. Get. Go here. And then Ben got disconnected, and uh, I have this weird game with his not corpse, but. Uh, so you pass right through me. Weird. I try to uh yeah when I'm when I'm airborne I can't seem to make contact with you um all right just uh give it a try yeah. all right
No, I tried to. Oh, you've got a progress bar on you. You're suffocating or dying or something. No, I can't grab anything. Oh, you have a uh, currently dead Ben. Well, it says I survived zero days without dying. Oh yeah, I guess that means I'm dead, doesn't it? Do I have to do? You are dead. Some reason you're okay. Oh, you! I see your face hovering over me. All right, hang on. Let's see if I can get you out of this. I have to increase my thrust of my jetpack. My suit's completely freaked out. There we go. Couldn't lift you because you were too heavy, Ben. Oh, just tried to hit me. That was mean. <laughs> Needs to lay off the Twinkies. All right, so somewhere there was a sparkling blinkers. Uh, where's the base at? All right, hang on, let's do this. You're in the way. I can't see what I'm clicking on. Alright. You're in a safe zone. Can I put a pill? Can I force feed you a pill? Ben cannot be dragged with something in your right hand. All right, so I can drag you, but I can't. So if I pick you up. Yep, I have access to your stuff. So do you have a respawn option? No. All right. Uh, well, okay. I saved, why don't you hop out and then hop back in. See if you're dead, maybe you get a respawn since I got all your all stuff. Right. Oh wait, I have a respawn option now. Okay. And I am outside. I see you. In all right. the base. You got the emergency equipment on, so yeah. Oh, yeah. Get all your stuff off the corpse here before you explode. Oh, yeah. Glasses. Then... Maybe I can put your corpse in the refrigerator. What's going on here? <laughs> Nothing.
Oh, they did, redid the emergency equipment too. It looks better too. I don't think there's anything else. Nope. You had a an ingot of silver in your hand. That might be from the locker here. You got the wrong helmet on. Did I not give the oh, helmet? Um, no. Space, is this it right here? Here it is. There you go. Much better. Thank you. Yep. Oh, this stuff decomposes whether it's being worn or not. Wow. Ooh, can 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 uh can I go and uh recycle it before it goes poof? Good luck with that. Trying. Nothing. <laughs> it gave me absolutely nothing. I guess that would be a, an interesting little, um, um, you keep dying and recycling your stuff and you get iron or something from it. All right. I got some ice here. I'm going to see. We only got one place we can do this over at greenhouse one. This says we have 8.63 kilopascals, almost. And before I start this process, this has got 1.36 megapascals of gas. So let's go get this thing completely empty. Here, turn that on. That was weird. Ben was out mining. He got disconnected from the game. I was on a break. Came back and it was all wiggly. There it is. They're supposed to have like a medical bed or something like that. Medical analyzer and a medical pill. What's the other pill? Paralysis. So when I look at a pipe analyzer and I see 3.05 kiloliters, is that the total volume of, that the pipe can hold? Because it's a big pipe network? Yep, it's a volume of the pipe network. That's good to know, actually. Yeah, it's very handy. It's a nice change. Yeah, I didn't notice that before. 
that's close enough. Let's turn this off. Pop that off. Until the sun goes down, I'm we'll losing the ice. It's, it's incredible. The amount of copper, 652 grams versus 1.75 kilograms of iron. It's a, uh, it's almost, no, I guess it's not on the lowest end, but wow. Wow. So there's still a jump in the total draw. A drastic drop. Like 20 kilowatts. Yeah, 20k corresponds to the power transfer. Okay. So I guess our total power generation right now is 29.5 kilowatts and our total draw is about 11.4 kilowatts. Do you take out the top side to bottom side transfer? Or actually, we're doing okay. Well, remember the solid generator is rad for a while. That's true. I mean, we got 60% downstairs. Are you still able to isolate the, uh, so we don't get the um, transformers turned on and off so it doesn't show up in the indicator or is that too much work? No, I'll get it. Oh, okay. So on some of this, you're actually bringing the data across on the heavy lines, aren't you? Yeah, most of the data is carried over the heavy line. Diamond plate flooring? You mean a, a decorative thing? All right, sun's going down. How much trouble I get into over here. I agree. All right, sun's down. I didn't get a whole lot, but some. I got a couple of stacks. Well, I've, I've only got one ice crusher set up. Well, actually, I have two. I have the one downstairs, that's all for gas. Uh, and the one over here by Greenhouse One. Um, holy shnike, that fills up so fast.
Don't forget you can make water from oxygen and hydrogen too. Oh, with the electrolyzer? Oh, the combustor. Oh, I'm going to try that out. So you, you feed the same ratio that you would a furnace, 6636 or 3634. And um, so my few stacks, you have a six, well, in a small portable tank, we have 6.37 megapascals of, what would that be, nitrogen? And then how much actual water did we get out of it? We're at almost nine kilopascals. It didn't, it didn't budge. I didn't get any water from that. Huh. That is so strange. I guess crushing ice doesn't give you water anymore. I have to leave this tank over. Well, all right, so in the pipe, there's 7.72 kilomoles of water. So it's only reading at 8.36 kilopascals because there's liquid H2O and gas H2O. That's why you're not, the tank's not giving an accurate reading. That doesn't make sense. 139 liters. Yeah, I don't get it. Liquid does not provide pressure. Oh, really? Well, then why is there a, a gauge? I don't know, okay. H2 combustor. Design the volatile combustor does exactly what it suggests. It burns a mixture of volatiles and oxygen to create water. Cool. Oh, so it's an atmospheric. Oh, we got one over in the lock. So the H2 combustor takes volatiles. It burns a mixture of volatiles and oxygen to create water. Extremely useful in hot, arid environments. 
I'm just gonna um I'm gonna hook a little uh gas up to it and see what happens. Except for the output is a normal sized pipe. It's not a water pipe. Weird. Probably steam. Okay. <clears throat> well, if that's the case, I can tie it in over here. Yep. I can tie it in to the poopy line. And let's see here. Wait a minute. It's got an output. Waste. What the heck is a waste gun? Just send them both in there. That's the imp that would be gas cans. All right, so uh, let me take this right there. And we'll use this um, somewhere. We have a fuel. Oh, we don't. All right, so. We have a fuel refill here. Yeah. All right, that's going to make it complicated. What I'm going to do then. We have a fuel line right here. Hey Saturn, I uh, got your whisper. Sorry, I said I'm a noob. Oh, I got you, got you. All right, no problem, no worries. We're gonna put a, um, a junction right here. Then we'll put a pressure regulator right there. Nope, put a valve right here, I think. Ben, I'm doing something very dangerous. You might want to stop me. Or shows on the way. So I want to test out this. Um... Oh, actually, that. How would we do this? All right, I'll let you come over here before I get any further. I'm uh, over by the furnace regular furnace There's the sun. I thought that was Ben for a sec. Here, 
tapping into our fuel line to convert fuel back into water. Well, except for there's a waste and then there's an output. Electro says it's probably going to be steam. So I would, if I go, oh, that's cool because I can take this set up and grab the moisture, but then that's going to recondense it back into gas. Uh, yeah, you um, kind of want it to cool down from steam back to a uh, liquid state, so. Well, let me see. I, I guess I won't tap it into the uh, to the poopy line there. Let me. Um... So I'll still tap into the fuel line. Uh, it's called an H2 combustor. Wait, it says it's an air conditioner. All right, it's only got, maybe I had the wrong unit. All right, it's only got one output, so it's gotta be like, um, like Electro said, it's probably steam. The output is a gas. So I'm going to put it into a container and see what it is. I need that. Yeah, that back. Right. That's going to be input. Ben, are you here? Yeah, I'm wiring it up. You're, you're invisible. I don't see you. Ooh, magic. <laughs> All right, go ahead and wire it up. Um, I'm wondering if uh, we just do... Uh, it's kind of funny. They use volatiles in different places as if they were things. Sometimes hydrogen. Sometimes kerosene. Oh, gotcha. Um, I was going to put a pressure regulator. I thought you were actually watching my stream and seeing what was going on. I didn't realize you came over. So Ben's in the game, but he's, he's taking an invisible pill. I'm playing the full ghost role. <laughs> it's Halloween. All right. Um, there's a pressure regulator for what it's worth. <clears throat> and uh, a valve. <laughs> so your name shall now be Griffin. 
Uh, Bell. Play Bell. <clears throat> All right, got a valve in place, and I'm gonna it's all connected except for oh, you really can't see me. No, I cannot. What do I do with the oh, there it is. Well, it's magically wired then. <laughs> all right. All right, so just to verify, there's fact gas, all right? And this uh, is set for 50 kilopascals. Make sure we have 50 kilopascals in there. All right, turning it on. We are getting a whole bunch of stuff on the output. There is water in there, though. All right, let me turn this off. So, okay, now the water is evaporating. Yeah, it's evaporating. Uh, yeah, because it's crazy hot. Yeah. Okay, it looks like it's stabilized. So how would we use this to create water? It gives it to you, but you'd have to... You have to cool it down. Okay. And then filter it out. Okay, all right. Project for another time, but it does work. Oh, Pelican. I How guess you could just dump it straight into the goopy line from here. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If we had a sterling, uh, yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, because uh, that's pretty darn warm. I mean, there's, there's not much pressure there. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't open up that. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it. We'll uh, do something with it next time. All right. Um, well, Ben, this is weird that you're invisible. Yep. Well, if I'm not getting any null refs or anything like that, and you're able to do stuff, so you're just invisible. All right, I'm gonna um, get some ore going here. Oh, it's almost done. One is the loneliest number. Well, that's an interesting concept. I mean, it, of course it can be because you could take water and use the electrolyzer and create your fuel, but you can't go the other way, huh? have to do the whole cooling through a radiator system but if you get too cool then it's going to turn the liquid Uh 
Uh-oh. Um, I seem to really be a ghost because I just try to drop something on the ground and just disappear. Uh-oh. Well, I would say that I'm going to do a save and have yep. you uh, disconnect and reconnect again. There's a can of tomato soup over here. I just tossed that. <laughs> Found it. Okay, then. So no no loss on the tomato soup. We found it. Well, if you find a passive vent. <laughs> oh, all right. So it's like a, a game within a game. Wait, oh, I, yeah, found your I found your body. Again? <laughs> um, just try to pull a wrench on you. You're, uh... Your, your hand is stuck in a pipe. I found the past event too, yeah. Wow, we should have saved this for Halloween. <laughs> I know. You're, you're down here underneath the, uh, the uh, heat exchangers, sort of. So basically four frames below where I thought I was. Yeah. Okay then. All hey, right, so nice I'm one. out. All right, and I show you out. I'm going to get the Steam update broke something. Oh. Well, let's see here. I don't have any downloads pending. I mean, sorry, the update to the Steam client itself. Oh, okay. Put your soup and vent in the locker. Definitely having some sync issues today. And I can't even click on you right now. Well, we try to jump back in. Okay. Yeah, game's relaunching. No, it it's just a clear bottle. It has a diet Mountain Dew. I didn't have an update. All right, game's relaunched. I'm going to rejoin you. Okay. All right. Well, so far, so good. I do. All right. So, hey, you're fun, but your arms broke. Oh, I'm not in the greenhouse anymore. Nope. Oh dear. Oh, you're. You got a problem with your arm. Oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you're you're doing Jacqueline. Uh. uh at cal calisthenics. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Yeah. Let's see if we can get you back to uh back to the greenhouse, get you in your chair, maybe. Looks like you're flagging it. You're trying to get Follow hail you. a cab. <laughs> Greens. This is what we get for playing around with an H2 combustor. Something broke Ben. He combusted. Maybe, I wonder if your corpse... Okay, so I see your skull. All right. That's gross, by the way. Come on in. See if you can sit in your chair. Oh, got stuff. Okay. Ah, I just upped this uh, tank here. Okay. I was hoping to fix that. Uh, well, your your arm's not. Issue there. Yeah, your 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 uh, arm's not all broken anymore. Oh. Awesome. Well, let me take a minute and. Uh... Oh wait, I don't have a passive vent here, do I? Oh, it's downstairs. Uh, yeah, I'll go get it. All right. Oh, yeah, I should have done. Ah, oh, Ben. I knew him well before he hailed a cab. <laughs> um, can you bring a couple of pipe sections while you got it? Uh, normal pipe or insulated? Uh, normal one's fine. I would say a couple and there's only one there. Yeah, oh. Okay. All right, bent pipes or pipe and bent. Make airlock faster. Uh, hold on, I got it. Gotta remove this thing here. There we go. That should fix it. Yeah, it's faster. Cool. Cool. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, call it a day. And, uh, oh. didn't really get a whole lot accomplished. Had some network issues, some sync issues, had an invisible bin. Oh, you're welcome, Kaden. That was weird. All right, guys. Tomorrow is Factorio. It's Monday. It's Monday, and wiggling your arms left and right like you like you're stuck. I'm waving at you. Oh, okay. I didn't know you. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys. We'll see you later, Ben. Thanks a lot for chiming in. Appreciate it. Roll some credits here. See if they work.
They are. Guys, thanks for the new follows. Appreciate it. And some of that's from yesterday or uh, Friday. Saturn, we'll see you later. Electro, see you later. I do have Captain of Industry. All right. Toodles.